On the field, footballers cover over 10 kilometers and burn around 1,500 calories every single game. Off the field, the elite train for around 40 hours a week and are backed by a team of experts to make sure they are always in peak condition. So it's no surprise that when it's time for retirement, some players surrender to the sweet pleasures of food and comfort, packing on the pounds. Some even try to get away with it during their career. Join us as we look at the top footballers who succumb to the haunting sirens of laziness and calorific comforts. Stay tuned to find out which star weighed over 150 kilograms just a few weeks after retirement. First up, Wesley Schneider. The Dutch midfielder enjoyed a 17-year career playing for some of Europe's greatest teams and earning numerous prestigious awards. He was also the star man in Inter Milan's treble winning campaign of 2009-10 under Jose Mourinho. Wesley Snyder had the world at his feet during his prime, but now it seems he only has burgers in his hands. You see, even after they stop playing, several football players like to maintain their physical fitness. Even almost a decade after hanging up his boots, David Beckham, for instance, still appears to be in excellent shape. Others choose to enjoy their retirement and take it a little easier. Schneider certainly belongs to the second group of retired football players. In 2019, a video of the Dutchman watching Utrecht play VVV Venlo in the Eredivisie went viral. What's so special about this picture other than the fat? Oh, we mean the fact that he almost looks unrecognizable? Well, he had retired just two weeks prior to this game. Schneider also participated in a friendly match for Holland's former internationals, and once again, it was obvious that he was relishing his retirement. To be honest, towards the end of his career, Schneider was overweight by both professional football and his own standards. This was clear at Galatasaray and during his brief stay at OGC Nice. Because he was so out of shape and unable to win with the club, he left the Asians after only six months and traveled to Qatar to join Al Garafa to conclude his career. And now, as we've all seen, he's enjoying his life. Wesley, take it slow. Retirement sticks around for a long time. Diego Tristan Known as the penalty box tiger, Tristan was the most versatile player in La Liga during his prime at Deportivo La Coruna. He was part of Deportivo's success when he helped them win the La Liga title in 1999 and 2000. Add two Supercopa de España and the Copa del Rey title, and we have a certified Deportivo legend. Tristan also grabbed the El Pichichi title for La Liga's best scorer in the 2001-2002 season, with a total of 21 goals. However, a few seasons after leaving Deportivo, Tristan's reputation soon took a hit. He retired as a player from Cadiz in 2010. As he had mentioned it multiple times, Tristan's dream was to coach a club. In 2016, he began a new career as the head coach of Atletico Algebeno, an amateur team in Andalusia. It's a club he created three years ago with a group of friends to lead a new project. Tristan then appeared to be quite bloated. He continued to play the game despite being obese and having a large stomach. The extra kilos did not stop him from doing what he loved the most, playing football. Nowadays, it seems Diego Tristan coaches the first team and works with the youngsters of the club. Ronaldo Nazario During the 2000s, Ronaldo Nazario was one of the most well-known and iconic players. The Brazilian attacker became an icon after playing for great European teams like FC Barcelona, Real Madrid, AC Milan and Inter Milan. But after that, not everything was perfect. After he quit competing in the competitive leagues, the striker began having weight issues. Even in his later years as a professional athlete, while he was playing for Corinthians, it was clear that he was not at his peak. After seeing his pictures, many people began to worry even about his health. Ronaldo loved fast food, drank a lot, and stopped playing sports after he retired. That lethal combination made him weigh more than 100 kilos. But one day, he made the decision to get fit and become a businessman. He was able to maintain his image and improved his physical form thanks to that profound alteration. The former striker began a diet created by Massimiliano Sala, the nutritionist who treated him, and stopped being the obese Ronaldo. In addition, he spent two to three hours every day engaging in physical activity, which helped him regain his shape. He is now the president and owner of the Spanish team Real Valladolid and has shed a lot of weight from his overweight days. He isn't in the same physical shape he used to be during his prime, but considering he's 45 years old, 
He doesn't need to look like that either. He's healthy, and that's all that matters. Neville Southall It's unfortunate, but Neville Southall was probably one of the most underestimated players of his generation. His skill as a shot stopper is frequently overlooked. He spent 17 years as an Everton player, and even after his retirement, everyone still looks up to him as a legend. He also developed into an important international player for Wales and is still the nation's all-time leading cap holder, which is quite an accomplishment for a keeper whose role is constantly under examination with every dropped catch, misplaced kick, or strange howler. Over time, he rose to prominence in the Premier League and is now a coach and mentor for the younger generation. Southall remains a very influential figure in the beautiful game and offers some excellent tips online for his fans and admirers. However, it doesn't look like he has been taking care of his physical health in recent years because he's packed on the kilos. Snaps of him on social media or the videos he posts every now and then are not the most flattering, and they really highlight how much he's let himself go, which is a massive shame. He's not even 60 years of age, and while he spends a lot of his time looking to stir up support for various charities that he generously looks out for, he still has a lot of time to get back on the treadmill and get back in shape. Eden Hazard It's fair to say that the past few years haven't been too good for Eden Hazard, who is now overweight and at risk of being thrown out of Real Madrid. Hazard left Chelsea FC in July 2019 and signed with Real Madrid for approximately $115 million, with the goal of becoming one of the top players in the world. However, circumstances were totally different and the Spanish team was unable to fully enjoy the attacker. Hazard has sustained 10 injuries in total since his arrival at Santiago Bernabeu, and because of that, he's missed 43 games. At the age of 30, he finished 35 games with only 4 goals and 7 assists. In September of 2020, a series of images went viral. The reason? Hazard's obesity. The pictures showed the Belgian, who seemed extremely overweight during a training session at Real Madrid. As a result, Hazard soon began to experience all kinds of backlash. Many people assumed that his weight was probably the result of too many late-night parties and drinking. However, some less cautious views suggested that the footballer was abusing some sort of illegal substance and that his obesity was a result of this activity. The footballer made it clear on Belgian television that his issue isn't related to drugs or health problems. It's just that his body has a tendency to gain and lose weight quickly. He admitted that he was overweight as well, stating, I reached 80 kilos when I should be at around 75. All in all, in addition to a lack of exercise and a poor diet, having unfavorable genetics contributed to his weight gain. Mido Depending on who you ask, the mystery surrounding Ahmed Hussein Abdulhamid, aka Mido, is somewhat tough to solve. Some who still support him believe that the pressure of playing a lot of football at a young age under intense media scrutiny and with high levels of energy simply burned him out. The fact that he lost interest in the game, as well as the fact that his body had taken too many blows, also factored in. Others believe that he was simply unmotivated, didn't care as much about his performances, and that he overindulged in some of life's finer pleasures, like eating a lot of food. You're free to decide for yourself which you believe to be more accurate. Whatever the case, Mido made a ton of money, traveled to a lot of fascinating places, and was generally a highly sought-after footballer who had some moderate success. He has won the Dutch Eredivisie twice, the African Cup Winners' Cup, and has a fair number of beautiful goals to his credit. Now that his playing days are over with so much free time, it's difficult to see how he'll manage to maintain his waistline, given the fact that he struggled with weight during his playing career as he grew noticeably bigger and less nimble. One day, he might prove all of us wrong by getting back in shape, but that day doesn't seem too close. The fact that he had to lose 37 kilograms after weighing 150 kilograms just weeks after retirement is still extremely shocking and shows how much he's let himself go. After all the free dessert, Romelu Lukaku After being shamed for being overweight during his stint at Manchester United, Romelu Lukaku turned things around when he signed for Inter Milan. He was in the finest shape of his life when he moved to Chelsea on loan from Inter last year. But after trying a season with the London Blues, he's returned to Inter Milan being overweight. It seems the Premier League is not the right place for Big Rom. His last two stints in the Premier League have focused on him bulking up and becoming a powerful striker at Manchester United and Chelsea, 
which usually doesn't work, and he just ends up being lazy and fat. At Inter, Lukaku is encouraged to be slimmer and more explosive, which keeps him in great shape as well. Inter Milan has once more put the Belgian on a diet. According to Gazzetto dello Sport, Lukaku is undergoing rigorous training sessions and following a customized nutrition plan to go back to the physical level he was at 12 months ago. At least he doesn't let himself go to the extent that the other footballers on this list did. Which one of these players do you think indulged the most? Let us know in the comments.